Hello and welcome back to Friday Tech Tips. This is Matt Romney with the State of Utah and I'll be doing your tech tip today. Today we're going to talk about screenshots again. Last time we talked about how to use your keyboard and the keys on your keyboard and what keys to use to take a screenshot. How you could paste that into an email or a document and share that with someone else. Today we're going to talk about how to do that when you have multiple monitors and another tool that you can use to make that easier. So first off, a quick review. So the print screen button is the one you want to use. That takes a shot of your screen. But if you have multiple windows open and you only want one window, then you hold down the Alt key while you're typing the, pre the, the print screen button. Now, that's going to be a great tool to use when you have multiple monitors. So let me, ex let me show you how that works. I'm going to go back to my email here. So here's my email page, Google Mail. And if I just take a screenshot by typing the print screen button, open up a new mail, control V to paste that in, there you have a picture of all three of my monitors together. Now sometimes that's useful, but probably not very many times. Being able to show what your monitor configuration looks like and how many different windows you have open, that's not really the point of a screenshot. Now, if you hold down the Alt key and take a screenshot, then whatever window is active at that moment will give you the screenshot. So let me show you here. If I type Alt, print screen, and then come back to my email, Control-V. Now we have a screenshot of just my Google Mail window. Okay. So this way, it's a little bit easier to see what you're looking at. Now, the tool that I want to talk to you about is the snipping tool. So let me show you where, that, where to find that. Okay, so now you can see my menu bar down here at the bottom, and this is the start menu. If you click on that, it pulls up a list of your programs, usually the most commonly used right up here at the top, and then you go to all programs, and it pulls up the folders. Now I've scrolled down a little bit, but here's scrolled all the way to the top. Again, it shows all of my applications, and the accessories folder. Click on that, and then you go to the snipping tool. The snipping tool is really nice because you can choose what you want to take a picture of. So it brings up this little dialog window, drag the cursor around the area you want to capture. So let's say I want to start right here and drag all the way across over there. I don't want to show the whole window, I just want to show this section of all of those. And then it shows me a preview of what it is. It also has some pen tool and some of the things that you can use if you want to add some notes to it or highlight a section of it um, so that you can add some detail. I'm going to undo what I just did there with the little eraser tool. Okay, But at this point, I can still come to my email here. Arrow over. Give me a little more space there by typing return. Control V. There is my little snippet. So that's just a little section of my monitors. Okay, so we've got two different things that you can do today. You can use the Alt print screen button, and that will uh, take a screenshot of whichever window is active. If that's a, an email window, or a browser window, or an application from your computer, it'll take a screenshot of whatever is active at that moment. The other way is using the snipping tool. And most Windows systems, um, uh, within the last five years or so, have that snipping tool on them. Uh, but it's a great way to just get exactly what you want, share it in an email, in a Word document, in just about anything. Thank you for tuning in.
I hope this helps you and answers some questions you have. If you have any other questions, feel free to let me know. I'd love to answer your tech tip question. So thank you very much and have a great weekend.